Hey guys, I'm back at Disneyland today. My name's Arthur and this is my rolling vlog. try and see if my score for Buzz Lightyear, although I'm not sure if it gets any more points than what you guys know I did at Disneyland in Paris, but we'll see if I can get a good score. As you can see, the line area is very similar to that at Disneyland Paris. And in my mind, it's sort of like a cold coffee of the one in Disneyland Paris. Don't quote me on that, but, but it is probably a cold coffee. So that score, guys, is a bit low for what I would usually like, but it's okay. I'll take that. I'm now in Fantasyland, and I'm currently waiting in line for Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Now this attraction closed a long time ago at Magic Kingdom, and Disneyland Paris doesn't have this attraction. It has a Mr. Toad's restaurant, but not the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride attraction. So I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> exited the main Disneyland park and I'm heading across towards California Adventure and I thought I'd show you the decorations that are on the entrance to California Adventure Park so for the first time California Adventure has been included in the Halloween celebrations so the park just like in Disneyland Park is all decorated for Halloween I'm currently in line waiting to enter the park so I'll see you guys once I've entered. I've now entered the park, but before I go into the main part of the park, I must exchange my fuel rods. This one's empty. That's me now exchanged it, but I did it in such a weird way because normally I, I was wanting to show you guys how it's done. You go to the machine, you select swap on the touch screen, you insert this into the machine itself and then a new one pops out but there was a guy there servicing the machine so I didn't get to do that and show you guys that just hand me on which in a way saves time so I guess that's a good thing I decided to return back to Disneyland Park because I forgot I had a fast pass return for Big Thunder I've done that now and I'm getting a bit hungry so I'm going to find a snack I don't know if I'll be able to get a snack that's gluten and dairy free I know we can get many quick serve meals that are, but snack, who knows? Forgot to show you what I had. I just got caught up in finding out what I could eat because there was an issue on their allergy menu that they didn't list anything that was milk free, even though most of the items appeared to be the case. And as it turned out, it was. Milk had, didn't have any milk, milk in it. The gluten wasn't the issue, it was my milk allergy, which was the issue of trying to find something. But I shared the trio of tacos. 
which was like three different types of taco with the uh, beans and rice and it was really good and I highly recommend you have it. I've now exited Frontierland and I'm now in New Orleans Square. Not so many Halloween decorations that, as far as I can see in this area of the park but that will soon be solved because I'm currently heading towards Haunted Mansion Holiday which should be awesome fun. I've never seen Haunted Mansion with the Halloween slash Christmas overlay and when it comes to this overlay there is a big debate between is it Christmas, is it Halloween and in my mind I don't think that matters because it's an awesome fun ride. Well, from what I've seen of it from other content creators. So I'm now heading through the middle of New Orleans Square and as you know this area of the park is very very narrow so it's going to be a bit difficult to get through. Yes, there probably is a better way to go. The Blue Bayou here is on the left. One of the best restaurants in the park, as far as I'm concerned. And we're just heading through on, our, on my way to the Haunted Mansion. The thing I've got to really watch out for is when people run out in front of me and stop, which is why there's sort of like a stop start when I'm going. Just passing the Disneyland Railroad station here from New Orleans Square. I'm quite surprised because I haven't seen a single piece of Halloween decoration in this area of the park. I think all of the Halloween decorations will be in front of Haunted Mansion. I had to check in with a area that deals with wheelchair users where they asked me a few questions and handed me a slip. I've done that now and so I'm currently in the fast pass line waiting to enter the Haunted Mansion. Look at the decorations it's got. Isn't it just amazing? Fast pass.
was incredible. The ride was far better than I expected. Well, Haunted Mansion is one of my favourite tracks, but when they put the overlay on, it's sort of like messing up one of my favourite attractions. But after having ridden it for the first time, it was good. The debate still continues. Is it Christmas? Is it Halloween? I would go more on, it's more of a Christmas ride, but it's still awesome. I had a really great time at Disneyland and I really enjoyed the Christmas overlay of the Haunted Mansion and it's it was something completely new to me because I'm used to the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom and as some of you may know the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom doesn't do the Christmas overlay. It was quite refreshing to see something new in the Haunted Mansion ride and it was really enjoyable. I've had to split this vlog into two separate parts mainly because I recorded quite a lot of footage and it would have ended up being quite a long vlog. So part two will be coming next week. I've got many more adventures in California to come but for now, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.